We have a very progressive community. We don't need to torture and kill our inmates. It consumes nearly every day that I work on what we can do to change our system. The candidates running in the highly contentious San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's race squared off in a debate tonight. Thanks for joining us for the news at 10. I'm Richard Gearhart. Sheriff Ian Parkinson is running for his third term. His challenger, Gregory Clayton, retired as a San Luis Obispo police officer 25 years ago and is now a private investigator. Karina Corral was at the debate and joins us live in the studio with more. Karina. Richard, voters are paying close attention to this race following the high profile case of Andrew Holland. He died in custody after being placed in a restraint chair for 46 hours. Of the roughly 40 questions asked, many focus on his treatment and changes at the jail. In front of a packed house, the case of Andrew Holland's jailhouse death was front and center. With his parents in the front row, the candidates addressed his now high profile death. We all have had moments in our life where we've had those things that we want to go back and say we wish we could change. Um, but unfortunately, that's not possible in this world. What's possible is affecting positive change. On behalf of Andrew Holland, that the video speaks for itself. His death was unnecessary. I think the sheriff would agree with that. His death at the hands of others is inexcusable. We're better than that. Holland, a schizophrenic, was awaiting transfer to the county mental health facility when he died. Both candidates agreed mental illness is the biggest problem facing law enforcement today. I want to make sure that we have adequate personnel for psychiatric nurses, psychiatric technicians, and a full-time psychiatric doctor available. I want to have that psychiatric uh, care unit established. Parkinson says he has plans in the works, starting with hiring a chief medical officer at the jail. We're also in contact or in contract negotiations and discussions with the state of California to do a 10 bed facility and open up our own uh, facility within the jail. Other questions raised, a 14 year old asked how each plans to keep high school campuses safe. We have mapping for every school, nearly every school in the county. We've just rolled out a panic button for 3,200 faculty members in all all of our schools. Clayton proposes a program that alerts authorities when gunshots are fired and gives the GPS coordinates and it cuts the response time in half to our schools and each candidate attacked the other's experience. He was a line level police officer. He did not have any supervision or management experience. My response is how has all those years in law enforcement helped you when you came to the situation where Andrew Holland was held in the chair? Now the room, as you saw there, was packed with supporters of each candidate. And while Clayton supporters held signs that read lie, those signs were not used and there were no outbursts or disruptions during the debate. Live in studio, back to you, Richard. All right, thank you, Karina. The forum was hosted by the San Luis Obispo County Latino Outreach Council, which will also be hosting another debate on April 25th with the four judicial candidates running for two open seats.